Hello there, this is me, Ross Rim 11 and welcome to Let's Play Red Dead Redemption, my great favourite game. So this is the Let's Play that's here to celebrate my 300th video on YouTube. So this is going to be quite interesting. I hope you enjoy it. This will occupy me for the next few months probably, because knowing this game is going to take a long time for me to finish this. But that doesn't care, it's still an awesome game. And one of my favourites, as I've said already. Um, I probably won't talk much during the cutscenes, because um, they're quite interesting and you get quite a bit of information out of them. So first mission, Exodus in America. All we need to do now is wait for the game to start up. At least the loading screen in this game is cool, apart from, and it's much diff more different from the floating cauldron. Which I will be continuing Lego Harry Potter years 1 through 4, but that's just going to be like a side let's play I do with my sister when she feels up to it. So, Blackwater. All the people going off of the Morning Star. I don't even know what the Morning Star is, probably a ship. Up they go. Turn it up a bit. <laughs> they don't do that anymore with cars, I don't think. There he is, John Marston. The long walk to the train station with epic western music playing. Rockstar Games presents. Uh, the soundtrack in this game is awesome, by the way, as you can plainly hear, but there are more epic songs coming, don't worry. A Rockstar San Diego production. There's the station. You're out of the law now, Marston. You'll learn more about these guys later on in the game, don't worry. By the way, Marston's backstory is awesome. You're going to meet a lot of awesome characters. Red Dead Redemption. Have I mentioned about subtitles? I'll be putting on, putting on subtitles in this game because that's how I roll if you do like subtitles. Too bad. Our designer, Darren Badger. Weird name. Or was it Bader? I'm not sure. So um, I'm going to shut up and listen to these people talk while John Martin looks completely, utterly relaxed. Also bored. Well, Look at that I scar. Well, I am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us. Please, how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. That's horrible. Old woman, not very nice, are you? Father, do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. You know, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they live like animals, but they're happier now. I'm sure they are. I'm sure they're happy, old woman. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Oh, before, I, before I forget, I'm saying I'm going to do all the story, no, no, none of the side mission. I might do some, though. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor, which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns, yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. 
I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The Tom family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. <laughs> Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. True. Except that money can buy voters, though. <sighs> Oh well. I thought they were nice. I don't even know what a voter is though. I'm an idiot. My idea is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the oh, there's another person you'll be meeting later on. The chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in peace. It's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. Location number one. One of the most awesome in the game. Here we are. Welcome to Armadillo. Hang on, let me just um, put on subtitles before I forget. Which, um, ah, um, well, hang on. Aha! That's right, save, game, save. Five o'clock. Five o'clock in the morning, in the evening. Hello, miss. Hello, sir. How are you? I guess he's drunk. See you in a bit. 